Rochester Cathedral is England's second oldest, founded by Bishop Justice in 604 AD. Although what you see before you is much newer, dating from 1080. The structure is a glorious example of Norman architecture, as well as one of the finest Romanesque facades in England. Outside Rochester Cathedral, as you can see to my left, stands a catalpa tree, or an American Indian bean tree, said to be between 140 and 150 years old. And to the right of the cathedral, as you can see on my right, is a small path which leads to the second oldest school in the world, known as the King's School. The cathedral is blessed with some fine examples of later Gothic styles, as well as the magnificent 14th century chapter library door, which is one of the oldest doors in England. The cathedral became a major place of pilgrimage in the 13th century, following the death of William Perth, a Scottish baker who was murdered nearby. The cathedral houses the Texas Rovensis, which is the only existing copy of the first code of English law and was written in Rochester during the early 1120s. It has been described as one of the most important documents in English history and influenced the wording of the Magna Carta of 1215. The cathedral holds several exhibitions throughout the course of the year. Check out their website, which I'll include in the description below for more details. Okay, time to explore inside. During our visit, the cathedral was displaying a truly beautiful and breathtaking art piece called Peace Doves by Peter Walker, a sculptor. The artwork has been created from around 1500 individual handmade paper doves. Together, they form a beautiful art piece, which as a whole reflects joining together in unity, peace and hope. Wow, this looks beautiful. And don't forget guys, please like, comment and subscribe to my channel. Thank you. Such a beautiful cathedral inside and outside. Definitely felt a sense of peace and harmony coming in here. Alright guys. Hey. Mm. Mm. Show me the mistakes. It could be griffins. As they say, nothing's ever perfect. Because only God is perfect. That one's upside down. There's another one over there. Oh, yeah, yeah. One over there. Yeah. Ah, so it's oh, not yeah. accidental. It's 
Brilliant, thank you. Mm. Ancient puzzles. <laughs> it is. It's lots more. It's about 17 of these. No 17. way. Oh, wow. I've only ever found five or six. There's 17? Mm. Yeah, they, well, they go all over the place. They go from the side how, there. How do you know there were 17 of them? Somebody said there were 17. Ah. I think I've managed to find six. Six. But it keeps oh. lots of children. They could, they could be saying they keep you busy. Yeah. <laughs> well, thank you much. Thank you. But those are much more. Let's have a look over there. Thank you. Oh, look at this floor, look at this one. Yeah, this looks old, mate. Wow, I wouldn't mind having this in my house. A masterpiece. Absolutely stunning. And this is the chapter library door, one of the oldest doors in England, dating back 1350 AD. It is truly an exquisite piece of fine craftsmanship. So much detail. Well, that's it. Time to get out. I've had a really good day, despite the weather. Anyway. I think it's time for some food. So I'm first for it. Thank you for watching my video. Please like, comment and subscribe to my channel. And tune in next Wednesday at 6 p.m. for the next video. Take care. Peace. Haha, <laughs> that was brilliant. Hope you had a nice birthday, bro.